arguably the number one pound for pound boxer on the planet. Saul Canelo Alvarez has established himself as one of the most dominant fighters in the sport, as he obliterates the many opponents who stand in his path. With 56 wins and only one loss, Canelo continues to prove himself as a modern day great, earning multiple world championships across four different divisions. He's fighting champion after champion after champion. Canelo Alvarez will fight absolutely anyone, anyone. He will never duck any fighter. And now, being one step away from unifying the super middleweight division, we can only speculate on who's able to rise up to the occasion and test the Mexican powerhouse to his limits. So please help support this channel by clicking the thumbs up and subscribe buttons as we take a closer look at the two biggest threats to Canelo Alvarez. It's over! That fast! Canelo is the light heavyweight champion of the world! Turning professional at just 15 years of age, it was clear that Canelo's talent could not be denied, as he quickly gained notoriety for knocking out fully grown men. It wasn't long before Alvarez began rising through the ranks, racking up an impressive 42 win streak with victories against distinguished fighters such as Shane Mosley. In 2013, Canelo dared to chase greatness by facing the undefeated Floyd Mayweather at just 23 years old, a night that saw the young Mexican suffer his first professional loss. But like any great fighter, Canelo made the necessary adjustments and improved his game immensely, making a return to the ring shortly after his defeat, with only one goal in mind, to craft his own legacy. Coming back with a vengeance, Canelo dispatched numerous world champions back to back, claiming titles in both the middleweight and super middleweight divisions. Hard right hand, and down he goes. Brutal stoppage by Saul Canelo Alvarez. And now in 2021, Canelo has captured three super middleweight titles on his journey facing little to no resistance along the way. I just think Alvarez is, is, is too powerful. He's a real dominant force at the minute and it's difficult to pick anyone to beat him. Alvarez is set to face Kayla Plant in November for complete super middleweight unification. And while Plant shouldn't be overlooked, there may be greater challenges for Canelo on the horizon against extremely dangerous individuals who could quite possibly dethrone the king. Make it to these championship rounds. Short left hand. Here he goes down again. Can't hold that too much longer. He's trapped in the corner. Taking punches. He's trying to throw back to no avail and he goes down again. But that's why I said when Mark had asked me rounds and rounds earlier. Holland takes a knee as he goes down as he has been beaten down by Beterbiev. Artur Beterbiev, an unstoppable force at light heavyweight who's ended every one of his fights by the way of knockout. Of the ring. And, and, a slip and a right hand, and he covers up, and that is it. One punch ends the fight. In possession of the IBF light heavyweight title, Baturbiev may become one of Canelo's prime targets should he unify the super middleweight division. And while Saul was able to dispatch an older Sergei Kovalev, 
the currently undefeated Russian brute appears to be a different beast entirely. But better be is a little bit different, Max. I've sat and watched this guy, I've called his fights, I've studied him. He's different. This dude, he, he throws his body into every punch. But he hits extremely hard and he doesn't even have to hit you clean. He can graze you and you can have problems. Yeah, I sparred with him a few times and that's by far the worst thing I've ever experienced in life. I've been hit by a car once. I was young and that's how I feel like sparring with him. Like it's, I'm just being honest, like, I don't see nobody at 75 beating him. Having gained a reputation as a fearsome savage from his days as an amateur, Baturbia fought in over 120 bouts, allowing him to develop a severely underrated skill set, which has now been overshadowed by his devastating power. He doesn't get enough credit for his ring IQ. Just because he's coming forward and, and, and he's the power puncher, he doesn't get credit for the ring IQ. The fact is, he knows distance. He knows how to take the steam off the other guy's shots by staying out of the distance, by punching when the other guy doesn't want to punch, by waiting till the end of the combination to come in. People say like ring generalship and, and body language and stuff, but that's really what they're talking about. In 2019, Baturbiev struck fear into the light heavyweight division, following his performance against the phenomenal Oleksandr Gvozdik, who was also undefeated at the time. A perfect 14 for 14 after a rocket ride of an amateur career. He's knocked out everybody in the pros. Of that jab that time with a counter right hand, but Baturbiev comes back with a right hand of his own and lands a big right hand and Gvozdik ties up for a moment. After an extremely competitive first couple of rounds, Baturbiev imposed his relentless pressure as he walked Alexander down, overwhelming him with power and aggression, breaking his spirit and ending the fight. Trying to come over the top with the right hand. That's it. It's over. Archer Baturbiev is the unified light heavyweight champion of the world. Only time will tell whether the Canelo fight will come to fruition, with only one question left unanswered. Is Canelo able to withstand Baturbiev's power in a 12-round contest, or will he fold like every opponent that has dared to try? Yeah, but a guy like Baturbiev? I don't think so. He, I, I, I don't think so. I don't think he wants that. I really don't think, I don't think Canelo wants that. That's pain. Now we introduce an exceptional light heavyweight boxer whose talent and technical ability is second to none. Nice work there from Bivol, good right hand, all oh. it up, and a wonderful blistering. A lot of punches, and he's going to go down here yeah, in the first round. You want to see more American champions? We have to get our amateur. Having competed in nearly 300 amateur bouts, Dmitry Bivol has refined and mastered his craft, becoming one of the most skilled boxers today. The Russian light heavyweight champion remains undefeated with 18 wins, proving the effectiveness of his textbook style, coupled with world-class speed, timing, movement and precision. Distance. Oh, and a beautiful right hand lays Trent Broadhurst out, and it's going to be all over. And much like Baturbiev, Bivol is also in possession of one of the four world titles in the 175 division, making him a likely target for Canelo in the near future. He has even expressed interest in moving down a weight class to secure a clash against the Mexican superstar. Do you have to go? Uh, do you have to go down to submittle? to get that fight and are you willing to do so to get a fight with Canelo? I would like to fight him, yes, if he won. It doesn't matter which weight class, uh, super middleweight or light heavyweight, because I can make a super middleweight. Having already proven his chin against the extremely hard-hitting Joe Smith Jr., Bivo is unlikely to be intimidated by Canelo's power. Instead, we can expect the slick Russian to give Canelo some problems, much like we saw against other movers such as Arislandi Lara. And now with both Bivol and Baturbiev in their 30s, 
It's likely that we will witness these fights against Canelo sooner rather than later, should they be signed. They may either prove to be too much for the ambitious Saul Alvarez, or cement his legacy as an all-time great. And, and, and Canelo better leave, better be here than be well alone too. Stay away from both them guys.